Let's have a look at the second target group, which is the so-called interested public. What does that actually mean if you really look into that? Well, I guess what it really means is that you talk about people that work in development co cooperation um, that are who are journalists who specialize in that area, people that have been traveling a long time or that have been working in a project at some point. It's all people that lean towards doing these sort of things like helping others out and have been working in this. And then you have researchers and, and, and um, professors and so forth that, have, that, that are working in this area. Why am I saying this? Because usually when we target this target group, the, um, we overestimate their size. We overestimate or we underestimate the fact that they are converted. Any approach that goes towards convincing them is ill-conceived. What we can do is relay information to them. Now, they usually have quite unique information needs that are more um, specialized in a sense because these people know a lot about the project and they want details. And these details we can provide. Now, tempting is this part because here we're talking to someone who's really interested in our stuff. We can go into the nitty gritty stuff and they still absorb this thing. And one last point about this target group that is quite challenging is the concept applied to this target group in terms of communication is then broadened and used for all target groups often. Yeah? The, it's generalized that other people believe in this way. You split up in different target groups and once you start working, you feel home and all this detail and all this information and all of a sudden your approach becomes like as if it was only for this target group. And you're talking, yeah, we have different target groups, but you only use one approach and that's the approach that you use for this target group. That's a trouble.